for hire. We'll go back to Warland. For somebody that's never been there, somebody that barely knows anything about Wyoming, what was it like growing up there? Uh, growing up in Warland, you know everybody. It's a really small town, 5,000 people. It's a good community, really um, tight community. Every, like I said, everyone knows each other. Um, a lot of people are teachers, a couple factory, um, a couple factories that bring in a lot of jobs, a lot of farmers, ranchers, stuff like that. But mostly you need to know that it's, everyone knows everyone. It's a really close community. I guess it's been said in some stories that were with you that you begged for opportunities to even try out or just to be able to walk on. Where do you get that from? Where does that kind of originate in you? I think it has to, it has to go back with that support that I talk about from the community. And my parents are huge in that. I, I can remember my dad and my mom saying, hey, if, if you want to do it, just go do it. You know, like do it until someone pushes you away, until someone absolutely refuses you. So I think that's something that stuck with me. And, and especially because it, it's worked, it worked the first time. And so when, when that situation came up again, I just, you know, reverted back to, hey, I've, I've done this before, it's worked. Uh, there's no reason why I can't do it again. And, and it seems to be the same at, at all the levels. So at, at the junior college level, I just had to say, hey, can I get a tryout? Can I come play with you guys? And it worked. And then at Boise, it was the same thing, but it was a higher level, but the same result. Hey, can I come try out? And it worked here. I wanted to try out. I did it two years in a row, and, and it eventually uh, it's worked out for me so far. So because it's worked, I think that's why you know I, I keep going back to that. I was a guy that I guess was off that radar, end up leading the team, Boise State, in, in minutes. It was, it was different, and it was difficult. Uh, it was definitely surprising to a lot of people. And in some aspect, it was surprising to me. Um, but that's another thing. I don't, I don't, I guess I don't know really where it comes from, but I believed in myself. You know, at Boise, I saw um, an area that was missing. I saw this, this role that was missing, and I thought I carried a lot of the characteristics that could fulfill that role. Uh, leadership, uh, communication, uh, knocking down open shots, toughness, stuff like that. And yeah, I think if you do those things, those carry those intangibles, um, good things will happen. Five seconds to go here in the first quarter. Hire for three. His third of the first you gotta, quarter. You run your offense. Hire again, same spot, same result. Six three pointers on the. I mean, the season was almost over at that point. Um, but it took me a long time to get used to the NBA game. And I've talked to my coaches about that, and that's why I'm so excited uh, for the upcoming, whatever happens, upcoming seasons. But it just took me a long time to get used to the NBA game, the style, the space, the players, and things like that. So, And I also remember during that time, I think we were down some players, had some guys hurt, had some guys up with the Lakers, things like that. Didn't suit up very many guys during that time. And I remember Coach Carl talking to me about, hey, we, we, need, we don't have – we need you to be aggressive. You need to be a threat somehow. And I think after maybe you know the first couple of threes that went in, I you know got a little confidence boost and thought to myself, "This is going well. Let's let's try to keep it rolling." You touched on it a little bit. There's no guarantee coming into this year. Almost have to go back into training camp and prove yourself all over again. You know, for a lot of guys, they wouldn't come till the day before. Why are you here early? I had the opportunity to come here early, and and I was. Um, back in Boise doing some training and and like I said the opportunity came where I could come here and uh, I could be in the facility and be where I wanted to be for um, this upcoming season and I think it's just an opportunity I couldn't pass up you know I, I don't think there's anywhere else I could um, be getting getting better um, with the staff the facilities and and everything that's here that they offer there's there's no one else I'd rather be so yeah I'm just preparing for training camp and like you said I got to prove myself all over again and, and that's fine I I always, I always like to use that as a little motivation. Um, don't let myself get too comfortable, uh, just knowing that there's always going to be someone trying to take my spot, and and I want to, I want to be the guy to earn that spot. So you still find a little fun in in all of it, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's, it's there's always something to challenge me. Um, I haven't, perf I don't think I perfected any part of the game really, to be honest. There's always something to learn, and and that's fun, you know. It's. Um, it's a challenge, it's fun. Do you take any extra pride in kind of being the guy that usually is flying under the radar? Yeah, I think so, you know. Uh, like I said, coming, going back from Orland, it's a small place and and just statistically speaking, there's not a whole lot of people that um, get to branch out just because of the opportunities may not be there. But I've been very lucky and, and blessed to, to be from there and, and to get those opportunities, so. 
um, yeah, I just like to take them, and and I, I like to I like to say where I'm from. I like to say that I'm from a small town in Wyoming, and and get the support from there.